Today's Earth Day and NBC has designated this week as its Climate Challenge Week. And we have been giving you stories about the climate all week long. Thanks to meteorologist Paul Gross. He's been giving us some daily lessons about climate change. We've learned a lot from you uh, all week long, Paul. Yeah, it's been very simple facts that really kind of break down the whole thing for you. Now, this morning we're going to talk about temperature extremes. At least we'll start with that. And if our climate here in Detroit had been relatively stable over the past, say, 150 years, then the ratio of record heat to record cold would be not exactly, but close to one to one. But that's not the case. Take a look. Now, I counted the number of Detroit's heat and cold records over the past three decades. And in the 1990s, heat records outnumbered cold records by a three to one ratio. And that in itself is unusual. But look at the 2000s. That ratio leaped to six to one, a six to one ratio of record heat to record cold, which is absolutely astounding. And I just finished counting the most recent decade and the ratio is three and a half to one heat records versus cold records. So these statistics for the past three decades clearly show a strong warm forcing on Detroit's climate. And here's one that'll surprise you in a warmer climate. Look at this. Six of Detroit's top 15 all time snowiest winters have occurred just since 2002. As I explained yesterday, more ocean water evaporates in a warmer world and that extra atmospheric humidity gives big winter storms more moisture to produce snow. Coming up tomorrow, we're going to look at the warming climate's impact on your allergy season and spoiler alert, the news is quite bad and we'll have that for you tomorrow.